What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red. And we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today, we talking Adrian Broner. Not focus. Broner should retire. Man, I got a little, little head cold, so y'all excuse me, man. You know, catch me sniffling every once in a while. But, uh... It just seems like to me, man, Adrian Broner, you know, five months ago, about, it was about five or six months ago, he, uh, he, I think he was on like Instagram Live or something where he was saying that, you know, he was depressed and he was going to retire and he just didn't want to do boxing no more. <clears throat> His heart wasn't really in boxing. And then, you know, all of a sudden he got, you know, all the stuff happened with Pacquiao and he kind of fell in line. Uh, with the Pacquiao fight, so you know now he's back, and you know, but my question is, how focused really is Adrian Broner? You know what I'm saying? How uh, how into this fight is AB? Is it just a cash out fight for Adrian Broner? Is it just you know a way for him to uh, build up a uh, you know a, a a few more fans before he retires, you know, so that way they follow him into other ventures that he has in his life. Or is this uh, A.B.'s uh, return and A.B.'s fresh start, you know what I'm saying? Is this A.B.'s chance to uh, maybe shock the world, you know what I'm saying, and do what he's been saying he could do this whole time, which is uh, be better than Floyd or be the new Floyd. Which I, I feel like he has the skill set to be a great fighter. I just don't think he's on the level of a Pacquiao uh, or even a Floyd Mayweather. Um, he's obviously not on the level of a Mikey Garcia because Mikey beat <laughs> Mikey got up in him. Uh, as far as you know, some of the antics we've been seeing. You know, I mean, everybody knew it was going to be antics when when the press conferences start. You know, started. Uh, for for Adrian Broner to be throwing some of the, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, we saw this when we saw Brandon Rio Rios attempts to do, attempt to do, uh, to do this when uh, him and the Margarito tried to make fun of Pacquiao, and we we saw what happened to uh, Margarito, and then a few years later, you saw what happened to Brandon Rio. So for him to come out and be shooting. Uh, negative jokes towards uh Freddie Roach and to be uh making light of his illness. Uh, I don't think it's a good game plan for uh <laughs> for A. That's why I don't feel like maybe he's not focused. Maybe he's just, you know, you he, try to hype the fight up as much as you possibly can, get it to sell as big as you can. That way you get your biggest payday ever before you make the final decision on your retirement. Uh I don't think too many people are uh pegging him to win this fight. And personally, the the seeing the shape that he's been in the past, you know, the past few videos I've seen, I definitely not, you know, I feel like he's gonna get knocked out in this fight, uh, and I feel like Pacquiao's gonna end his career. Uh, in this, you know, this fight's gonna be the end of Adrian Broner's career. You know, Pacquiao's gonna put a nice little whomping on him, <laughs> and on the road to that Floyd Mayweather rematch and. As far as boxing, I don't think we're going to hear too much from A.B. no more. I don't think we're going to, uh, you know, after that last loss to uh, Mikey Garcia, and then he, I believe he uh, tied with uh, Jesse Vargas. And we all saw what Manny Pacquiao did to Jesse Vargas, so... I just don't see this, this you know, turning out too, too well for A.B. Although I this is a matchup I really wanted to see. I didn't think AB's condition was this, you know, far down. I didn't think he had failed that far down, in, you know, within a year. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think, you know, I was, I was just making fun and fun. But when you see it live and in person in a video, and you can see the toll that, uh, you know, all the gunshots and the jail... And then, you know, the baby mama drunk. You see, you can see, you can see it in the stomach. <laughs> that this stuff has really been taking a toll on the man. He ain't been taking care of himself. He ain't been in fight shape. You know what I'm saying? And maybe, 
you know, that's, these are some of the factors of why he lost the Jesse Vargas fight. But Manny Pacquiao's not the guy you want to be going in there half, half button it with. So, if you ask me, uh, Adrian Broner is not focused and Adrian Broner should retire. I, I don't, I, I'm starting to think maybe he should have retired before this fight. And, uh, Manny Pacquiao should actually be fighting either Mark, Mikey Garcia or Sean Porter or, you know, or Keith Thurman, you know, one of those guys. And maybe Adrian Broner really didn't deserve this chance. Just by seeing his condition, man, you know, a lot can be said by seeing a person's condition. But uh, that's Ali Land Boxing Talk for now, man. I ain't gonna ramble on too long. I always hit the like and subscribe button. Drop me a comment down below. Tell your friend, tell your mama, tell your dog, and we out of here.